Hey everybody, welcome back to another day of Night Witches. If you hear a few cracks and pops in the background, it is the fireworks. I'm recording this on Canada Day. And yes, I'm not out at the fireworks today. Uh, there's plenty of people already down there, so we've been there before. It's really packed down at the waterfront, so we decided not to go today. But, that being said, let's have a look at the contracts. we got some stuff going on today. So I got all the mechs returned. We're going to do a couple of things here. we got Retribution, which I don't know if I want to do until the end. It doesn't not really that exciting, but I think Mopping Up is the one we want to go after right now. So um, it's again lo against like local... Wait, is it this one or is it this one? Flushing them out. Yeah, this is the Elite Lance of Federated Suns mechs. So I'm hoping to find something good here. Four and a half skulls. We're going to take the main lance down. This is the one we want to go with. So we're going to go full salvage on this, except this. we got lots of C-Bills, so we're not worried. I did check all of our mechs. We are running Clan XL engines and everything, so we're okay. Oops, we want to make sure we leave you in. But we're going to take the Cataphract out, put the Marauder back in. Timberwolf can come out, Archer can come out. And let's go with our standard loadout. Uh, sheet Metal can come out, Megasaur. So as I was saying before, um, in um, Jade Falcon Freeborn, I have had a look at the mech pilots, um, their stats, and I think... I don't know. It's I, I think it's going to be, I don't want to say shocking, but it's going to be interesting to see. Because when I went through them and looked, I'm like, wow, really? Really? Because it, it was a, really wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, the, the, the two mech pilots, Megasaur and um, Mockingbird, definitely, um, you know, they rank up at the top for sure. I'm not going to tell you who's in the lead right now, but... Um, they definitely both rank at the top, and that's obvious from watching the episodes, right? If you've watched all the episodes, you know those two are just are, are murderers, right? Uh, but the other pilots, I'm just kind of interested. I, I'm I'm kind of shocked to see the status of them. It's just interesting, anyway. All right, so let's deploy this and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. They might have reinforcements, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm, i got to say guys, I'm really getting excited about the next series. Um, I've already fleshed out most of the ideas and how I want to run it. Um, I've decided I want to ignore the map for the most part. Um, and what I mean by ignore the map is I'm not really going to worry about who owns what planets, where and why. Um, what I want to do is just focus on um, sort of role playing. Um, giving a purpose behind them, because that's the one thing I, I think that we're missing kind of in this series is and we're just kind of fighting and doing missions, and, and that's fun. You know, we're building our own company. But I think we want to have a little bit more direction, um, which is what I'm planning on doing for the next series. Now, like, I'm still going to be doing the um, the double dropship on the Argo idea. That's still going to be um, happening. So we'll have two dropships with two separate units um, taking place. Okay, let's get... Uh, we need an avenue to run, so let's move up to here. This will give us the ability to sprint if we see somebody, and let's target the ground here. Turn off a couple of these guys, and confirm. Stay nice and toasty, girl. And if you can't, don't worry, hot damn, we'll burn the area around you. Um, yeah, so the idea will be that um, it's going to be uh, basically the, the, the two companies are basically going to be clan-based. So they're going to be starting off with clan mechs, but we're not starting in clan space. Commander. And that's going to be an interesting sort of setup when that happens. It's, um, I don't want to reveal too much of it, but it's going to definitely be non-canon um, because I don't feel Rogue Tech... While it tries to stay canon, doesn't really. It's not really lending itself to that because you can just um, do whatever you want anyway. The clans are going to come down and they're going to do their thing, and it's going to be clans versus the inner sphere, and it'll just be whatever, right? Um, and that's fine. Uh, I don't really mind that. It's just the players are shaping the shaping the world. So while they shape the world, we're going to be doing our own thing. Why are they moving so slow? Come on, buddy. Decide what you want to do. Mauler. Chiquita. All right. Not really that much of an elite lance, is it? Um, oh, there we go. So, uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to be choosing um, a story of our own making. Non-canon story. Um, I want to get as many par parts from that Mauler as possible. And this guy needs to die. Like now. 
He needs to die. Look at this thing. Uh, it's only 6% better chance to hit. Let's go with the more damage. Uh, enough, a lot of damage, but not enough in the uh, areas we wanted in. A lot of side hits. I think they got to figure out how to... I notice when I fire from the side, I hit the front more, and when I fire from the front, I hit the side more. Uh, I'm not really sure why that is, but it is the case. Uh, let's reserve. <clears throat> We're going to get Hot Damn up there first. So yeah, um, the series. Um, we're not going to, like I said, we're not starting in clan space. It's, I've already figured out how we're going to do it and how it can be done. Um, but we're going to be starting on the bottom of the map, completely on the other side from clan worlds. So that, that's the only thing I'm going to tell you at this point. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, and, and I'm, you know, I'm really hoping that it ends up being kind of excited and exciting and a half decent story. I mean, you can only do so much story with this, but you know, um, I'm planning on some, once we get a half decent amount of mechs and pilots and stuff, stuff I'm planning on some epic battles on planets and stuff where we're going to draw out a map. I know I, sh I, I shouldn't be revealing all, a lot of this, but we're going to draw out a map of the planet and make it so that we have to take certain points and things like that, right? So it's not just randomly shooting targets for our employers, but we're also um, trying to achieve objectives and goals at the same time. Damn it. I can't move in until that guy's dead. Waiting for orders. I think I think this will be fine though. I think this will be fine. Let's just shut this guy down. Time for you to turn off, buddy. Okay, we're gonna strip his legs now. Um, you cannot get all the way up there yet. Once we get eyes on, there's another vehicle somewhere. It normally starts off over here. Um, we don't need to OP this. We can just fire, and we could try to plink the head. But I think we're probably better off shooting the legs. So let's do that. Nice shooting. Yeah. Okay, sunflower. Your job to take that leg, please. On my way. Um, how much has it got left here? Not that much. So let's go on this side. And we're not going to turn the rack up. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And we'll fire. Okay, there goes that leg. Critical hit, Commander. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to blow the torsos off as well. You know, the only thing is, um, also switching topics now from the uh, Waiting for orders. game here. Can we not see that SRM carrier? I guess not, eh? Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it. I'm bad that way. Okay, let's go up to the leg. Yeah, we're going to go with this. Okay, there we go. Nice. Um, I forgot that. What the hell I was going to say now. It was in relation to this series. Ready for orders. See, trying to think of the uh, the other series and this series at the same time. Oh, there's a vehicle back there. What is it? Fulcrum. Not worried about that. Okay, we got eyes on now. Let's just fire two. Hopefully we get lucky. Nope. Oh shit, he goes on 18. That's a lot faster than I thought. It's a good thing we're in the trees and it's a good thing we got six chevrons of evasion. Oh, it AMS did some work too. Wow. Okay. No, no, don't run away. I need to squat you. Yeah, 
Yeah, so anyway, the new series, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Why is this such a... I don't even know why this lance is so light. Um, really looking forward to it. I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that it turns out pretty well. Let's fire some thunder off. Maybe we'll damage the side when it moves. It might finish itself off. I'm here. Actually, you know what? Let's go finish it off ourselves. Yeah. All right, we might be able to shut this guy down and kill this guy at the same time. Doesn't have that much, so let's multi-target this. I know I probably shouldn't, but we're doing it. Okay, so, um, A, we'll take Acid. This is only going to do 8 damage, so let's do that on B. Better chance to hit. Who does the most damage? So these guys should go on B. That Cicada's just standing there. And I think we should leave the rest of this on A, just to make sure we get it. And this can go on B. Let's do it. Affirmative. Nope. Oh my god, we didn't get it. Standing by. Doesn't matter. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Oh, I almost caught myself on my own trap. On you could take this guy. <laughs> that would have been bad. 114 minefield damage. Well, we know if he moves, he's dead. So he's not going anywhere. Alright, who's going next? Let's hope it's not the vehicle. I think it is, though. It could be the cicada. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. That was bad. If I go before him, I do. I'm going to put the cicada between me and the SRM carrier. That way it has to move. It's going to shoot me. Good luck. Unless I kill this guy, then he won't have to move. And I think I will. Nope. Melted his ass down, though, pretty good. Alright, so if that guy goes, he's got to move to get me. And he's going to die at that point. 114 damage minefield, are you kidding me? Okay, no, something's wrong. That's not fair. Doesn't matter, you're dying anyway. Let's give us ourselves a better chance to hit and rain some fire down this guy's head. Bing! <laughs> the last one coming in is awesome. Really hoping for some better, um, Understood. better fight than this. Definitely gonna have to go up against the clans. Let's core this guy. Yeah, I think we bail and head to the clans because we're not gonna get anything out of this. So the bonus that I, I had a look at the assault mechs that we have. Man, we're thin on parts for assault mechs. We haven't really faced a whole lot of them. I'm noticing. I mean, I guess part of it is I'm not really taking a lot of mech parts. I'm just taking components and stuff. But in this case, we're taking uh, the Mauler parts. Um, but yeah, man, we're like really thin on mech parts. Did we get the other one? We did. Five. Nice. Uh, Ultra 5, Pharaoh. Nothing that we really need. Thunder LRM. All right. All right. Oh. Well, I was going to say we have better chance of getting a clan mech than we do of an inner sphere one, but there you go. That's so weird. I didn't even notice how many Muller parts we had. I guess there's diff I guess there was different kinds of Muller parts we had. I didn't really see them, but we have we're closer to getting clan assault mechs than we were uh, getting inner sphere ones. But then we got that Muller, so let's have a look at that. It's 90 tons, I believe, right? The Muller or 90, 95? I think it's 90. It's been so long since I played tabletop with these guys. So we're looking at a 90 ton. It's actually kind of cool looking. But it's got nothing left though, eh? 
that's okay we're going to fix it we're going to fix it so yeah let's uh, repair all max the armor strip the equipment actually let's go back for a second I didn't check to see if there was an engine still in this thing and I don't want to have to pay to put another one in 27 days to fix it though it does have a 270 core why does it have so many slots in the center Um, what's up with the center slots? Is it specific to this mech? I mean, I'm not complaining that much, but, um, that's pretty damn cool. It has nothing... <laughs> I mean, there's nothing we can actually put in the center torso. But, I mean, we can put patchwork materials in here, I guess. A better gyro. Like, that's nice having that. We got, what, two ballistic hard points on the on the torsos with missiles and the three uh, lasers in each arm. This is actually a nice loadout for Inner Sphere. Let's confirm this. Cool. Let's get this. Well, it's at the top, I think, already. Half of our guys didn't take damage, so... Well, all of our guys didn't take damage. Let's just manage the task. Let's just make sure it stays at the top. Okay, uh, we're going to jump out of this system because I don't think we're going to find a half-decent fight here. Um, that was against... This is against local government. I don't know. Local government missions just haven't been that tough. So... Let's have a look at the star map. So yeah, in the next series, we're going to be looking at the star map probably very, very little. Just because of, you know, all of the... Wow, Comstar, man. It's pretty much quiet now, though, on the map. There's, like, almost nobody here now. Whenever I'm uh, playing, there's, like, nobody on the map. There's, like, one guy here. Um, yeah, so Honda. 11 days. I think that's where we're going. Owned by Ghost Bear. I don't know if we're going to get 2% Draconis Combine. We might get some Draconis Combine missions, but let's check it out. It's only 11 days. By your command. Yeah, so like I was saying, I don't think we're going to be looking at the map a whole lot. Because um, we are going to be going along a storyline. So, you know, kind of we're, wherever we end up, we end up. All right. I'm not even going to bother now. If we get that early on in the next series, I will definitely take it uh, for either for either for either of the two. Um, uh, I don't want to call. It, I guess companies. I guess either of the two companies. It's all going to be one one battalion of of guys. But let's have a look at the store. They don't hate us so much that we can't go to the store. see what we got here. Come on, weapon mounts. I wonder what the... Nah, I wonder what the chance of weapon mounts showing up there is. Anything interesting? Rack fives. Thumper ammo. No, nah, we're not loading thumpers up. Half, half load of rack 20. Rack five ammo. We got lots. Alright, we're good. Uh, let's have a look at the contracts. So I picked up an extra pilot. Um, Holovid propaganda against Ghost Bear. Okay, that's going to work out. Um, so I picked up an extra pilot. Uh, just in case uh, we want to take an extra mission and we need an extra pilot. We ha I know we already have a couple, but I figured why not have another one on hand just in case. Uh, okay, Troop Cobra, do we want to go... Let's go with the plus two health. I don't want you to die too early, uh, or if uh, sorry, we don't, we don't want you to die at all, not too early. Commander. Okay, here we go. So we want to go with guts, plus three health, plus five injury melee resist, or bonus initiative, hesitation reduction, sensor distance. We're gonna go with this one. Training 
Okay, piloting and tactics maxed out. Um, nice. Satori, no. Sheet metal, we're still good. Speed of sound, Sonic, you're good. Sunflower. Oh, uh, we can get Gets up. What is that going to give us? Plus 20 overheat threshold? Yes, thank you. We will take that. Nice. All right, bonus. So let's have a look at our contracts. I think we're already loaded to go for this one. I'm going to go with the main lance. Wow, we do have a lot here. That's excellent. So can't stop the signal. Target acquisition. Ghostbarium research facility. I think we're going to do that at the beginning of the next episode. Just in case it takes a long time like it did last time. Um, this is a defend base. Redirection. Escort mission. Um... Intercept the supply convoy, redirect it away and waiting to a waiting dropship, carry the supplies to insurgent forces on the planet. That's probably a good one for us. Coupe, who is this? Pirate organization and hot landing is who is this? Pirates. Okay, let's do redirection. We're gonna go max salvage. Let's hope we get some good stuff here. Ghost Bear is going to hate us very shortly, but there's not much we can do about that. And we're gonna go with the main lance, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, Marauder's got a nice balance of energy and ballistic. Blood Asp is all missile, but I think we're okay ammo-wise for this as long as we be careful. Or do we want to go energy? We could go with the Cataphract and go energy on this. I don't know. I'm thinking that I might want to go energy. Depending on what, see, it's five skull. It really depends on what they're going to throw up against us. Can count on the Black Knight for definitely taking somebody down every turn, like every group. And the Grasshopper definitely tying somebody up. The Marauder putting firepower down. Like, I'm almost considering it's probably better to go with the Cataphract and go with the PPC Pinpoint. If we want to do things like strip legs and stuff. Uh, and get salvaged, that's probably the best way to go because if we just go with the LRMs against Clan Max, it's like it's spotty, they're most likely going to have AMS let's go this route, we'll see how it goes we're a 5 skull against their 5 skull, let's just do it oh, we could have had a more favorable map not a big fan of this one. Right off the bat, I think we're at a slightly disadvantage on this map. Um, yeah, I think this map is a disad... Well, the end is good for us. Right? But the early map is disadvan disadvantageous. The second wave is, is bad because they just show up right between us and... and uh, and where we're going. So, I mean, we have to be, like, on the ball. And if they're tough, it's not like we can go around them or maneuver in any kind of way. We just have to kind of deal. Let's hope they don't have thunder. Order. You want thunder? Okay. Action. What do we got here? Warhammer. How aggressive do I want to be with this? Let's see if we can pick up some more targets. We can. What do we got up here? Thunderbolt. Okay, not so bad. I think the Warhammer is probably going to be a little more dangerous. Much better chance to hit on him, too. So, um... 61. Let's try to end this guy early. Nope. See what they're gonna do here. Okay, what else do we have here? A Rifleman 2, okay. A Ryokin. Um, 
see what we got here. 84%. Much better than the Warhammer. So Warhammer it is, I guess. He's already taken damage in the torso. Hopefully we hit it. I'm gonna dial the rack all the way up. We got early hits at 50 damage, so let's take it. There goes the torso. Come on, somebody move out. Somebody move out. You know you want to get within my visual range. Come on. There you go. No, not that way. No, 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 no. Maybe they can't see us. You can't move until we find these guys. Come on, give me somebody. Yep, yep, yep. Come on closer. Closer. Here comes the shot. Nope. Ooh. Can they just not see me? Yes, Commander. Okay, we got visual on these two now. Let's shut this guy's ass down. Um, acid it up. I would rather have the Warhammer than the Thunderbolt, so we're going to blow this guy to pieces. And firing. Not enough to shut him down, though. Okay, so if we go... Shit, if I in initialize it where I'm fixed to having the uh, thing on here. The supercharger. If I initial, like if I start it, counts as the action, needs to stay on. Can we not melee this guy? Yeah, we can. We can. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? We faced the rifleman too before. Let's one shot this guy, please. Here it comes. See ya. Sucks to be you. <laughs> now you're up again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you can just turn off your supercharger now because we can kill this guy let's just hit him from behind Copy that. Targeting for physical attack. Oh! Tango down. there's a big finger He's running away. He's like, fuck this idea. I'm going home, man. I never signed up for this shit. Um, I know we want Warhammer parts, but we need them off the field faster than, than not, so. We've only got a couple of turns or full rack per group, I think, so I'll have to be careful with that. I don't think we're going to need much more rack on this one. Ooh, I think that second one was going for his head, but I, I can't confirm it. I think that's his head there, isn't it? That's his head bouncing around? Maybe not. What about if we go mask on, mask on, mask off the masker. And we get this guy over here. We warlord it up. And let's see. Let's go with it. Well... Let's go with Inferno. I want to see if we can shut him down. Nope. Commander. Yeah, with the TSM's off and everything, it's just... She just doesn't have the juice to do much. Let's get him all turned back on, though. Ooh, you hit for four points. Nice. What's up, boss? Yeah, our rack's down now. Um... Let's just fire. I copy. See if we can draw your attention away from... Uh, well, we don't need to now. Barbecue. Oh, 120 heat and he's still good. He 
He's making the right tactical decision, though. You want to back the fuck up, that's for sure, but it's not going to save his ass. Um, I think we just shoot him. See if we can open something up here. Okay, we got detection on him. Make sure we don't get in that hex too early. Okay, we got CT on him now. Let's just fire with her though. Okay, he's unsteady. Shit, he goes though. Damn it. Rack stays off. Ooh. Leave one ER medium off too. Let's burrow through this side if we can. And fire it all. Shut him down. Shut him, shut him down. Oh shit, I forgot I had the mask on. Or kill him, that works too. You know, somebody told me, and I don't know who it was. I apologize once again. Make sure these are all off. Um, that I should be putting a post-it note. Actually, she should be the one starting this, so let's just pause here. Be putting a post-it note on when <laughs> I've got systems on. Just put it on my screen. It says, hey, dude, you got something running that you shouldn't have. And it's probably a good idea, like a little red post-it note. Roger. If I go tomorrow, getting some red post-it notes, every time I turn the system on, I'm going to put it on my monitor. But you know what, guys? If you ever, I don't know if you guys know anybody who's attention deficit, but damn, man, it's tough. It can be tough in life. I'm not, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that if you're, if you're attention deficit... It's off, right? Did I turn it off, or did it just take damage and it's destroyed now? Is there any way to tell? It doesn't show up here, so it must be destroyed. Oh wait, it's not in the center torso, is it? Durr. Mass clan, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know anybody who's um, ADD or ADHD, but man, I'm telling you, it can be really tough in life. And I'm not quote-unquote whining. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. And yeah, I've been known to whine a lot. But, you know, that's just me. I whine and complain. Uh, I think we're going to murder the guys up here first if we can. Full Let's here. get you up here. Can you get up here? I don't think you can. Ugh, that's a bad position. Let's get over here. Uh, maybe not. We need to be somewhere safe. That's probably okay. Knowledge. Not the best place to be, but... Keep them safe while they're going. What's this? Oh, there we go. Marauder 1R, tank destroyer. Mars assault vehicle, that's got to go down. Hat. Oh, blood asp, yes, please. We've got six blood asp parts. Let's get another one. Mars Mark Three. okay, so they haven't seen anything yet. Um... We need eyes on. I don't think Megasaur quite has the ability to be able to uh, get to them quite yet. Oh, we don't have enough 
visual yet. We want to kill this guy. Oh, such a bad chance to hit. Once it's within range, it'll warlord it. Ooh. Uh, I, I should never doubt you, Sunflower. Never doubt you. Okay, they've all moved. Uh, let's just see here. Yeah, no, I guess it didn't get wrecked. I guess I'm just an old idiot. Maybe it did. Doesn't seem like I'm going that far. Okay, we're going to do this. Going to do this. Uh, we're going to go after... Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see if we can hit the Mars vehicle with acid. Turn this fluid gun off for now. Hopefully we get one acid hit on this thing. Nice. And a tag too, even better. Hit the Mars vehicle please and thank you. Someone's going to be in a lot of trouble next turn. And it's not going to be her. <laughs> Who should we kill, guys? I want the blood ass part, so I don't want to blow them up. I'm thinking we should step on the Mars vehicle, as much as I hate to say that. Or do we take out... No, let's turn off the mask, or the supercharger, before we forget. Um... Because our TSM's on. Don't think we're going to need anything else. This should pretty much do it for this guy. Here it comes. Roger. Sorry, buddy, but bye. Well, I'm not really sorry. Target eliminated. Face the storm! Yes. Mask is on. Turn the mask off. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Roger, Kicking it. Let's get this blood asteroid. I want him shut down, so let's make sure we get everything on him, please. I want him out of the battle until we're ready to deal with him. Thank you. If we don't kill the Mars, let's give him somebody else to shoot for as well. Uh, this is a good time for Warlord on this guy and fire. Oh! We can afford the ammo at this point, but we gotta make sure that Mars vehicle goes, so. Okay, see ya. One more for the trash heap. Nicely done. Megasaur can take that vehicle next turn, and then the Blood Asp will just pull its legs off. And then we should have a Blood Asp. We got lucky. They clumped up. If these guys had gone this way, and these guys had gone this way, it might be a different battle. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, it would have, because... Yeah, these two would have had to concentrate on the Mars, which means the Blood Ass would have been able to shoot us. Megasaur would have killed the mech here, and stepped on the vehicle. I could have brought her over to this side, let Megasaur take these two out. Yeah, you know. Might have ended up the same way, I don't know. I'm interested to see what that last lance is all about, though. Come on, figure out what you're doing, guy. Who's going next? Allies. Okay, they're too far back, but I'm, I don't mind. Ready for orders. We have everything turned off from you, so we're okay. 
Let's go from the front. Maximize the salvage. Okay. These guys can't see us, so or we're too far away. Oh, it's just floating. Uh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> what the hell just happened? You guys saw that, right? You floated over here and then ran over there. You saw that, right? I, I'm like, I'm not going blind? It's a new turn, that's why. So he went last and then went first. Okay. Okay. I just thought there for a second I was going crazy. No. No, it didn't, because Megasaur went first. Ah, calling bullshit on that. I don't know what the hell it was up with that, but whatever. Moving out. Plus 30 heat from fire, but that's fine. I don't think we're going to be able to... Uh... I'm worried now we're not going to be able to pull this guy's leg off. Just shoot him. Soften him up. Unless we can shut him down. We're not pulling his leg off. If we CT him... If we CT this guy, we lose the mech. Let's see what he does. Still running. I'm receiving you. All right, let's move. There we go. Get our heat back in order. All right, let's get this guy. Okay, we can send Megasaur back now. I was worried we we're gonna have to punch this guy out, but we don't have to. Uh, let's get your um, supercharger on for now. No shooting. Let's get this guy back here moving again. Order. All right, Decker, I know you're uh, hot here. Can you get to a point where you can see this guy, though? Nope. Okay, move as close as you can, though. At least you get a chance to cool off a little bit. Okay, they're moving okay now. Um, there we go. Better chance of hitting his leg. Oops, I don't need to do this. This way. There it goes. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Shit, his right torso's gone. Don't kill him. Commander? You'd be very disappointed if you guys kill him.
Huh? That's probably what happened to him. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's turn the supercharger off now. See guys, I'm remembering. Understood. Moving fast. Commander. Should be able to get the other leg from here. So got left here. 151. Let's hope we hit it. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh, we destroyed the engine though. Shit. Don't know if that's gonna matter. Megasaur is sorely out of position now. Miss Flowers, I need you back over here, please. We don't have much time. Ready for orders. I think she is probably close enough. On my way. Double time. Let's get heated up. Locking on target. Let's get heated up. Failed to connect. That's okay, TSM's on, it's all that matters. Uh okay, Baby Yaga, let's get down here. You need to connect with Megasaur over here. Uh, let's get you there faster if we can. Let's get the mask on. Yeah, I don't think we've got... Uh, I think our mask is damaged. One more turn. Oh yeah, okay, he's still moving good. Yes, Commander. Roger. If I was playing an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Confirmed. You know what? You could say all you want that this is kind of cheating, but it's like, hey, you know what? Darius spotted an inbound dropship a long while ago. He knows they're coming, so this is about the only place a dropship can land. Here it comes. Nope. Waiting for orders. Shoot. We need uh, chevrons of evasion here. Time. Let's go. On it. That's a miss. I'm receiving you. All right. I think it's because I moved forward. Full that guy in the front didn't actually move. But you know what? Maybe that's a good thing. I think this extra turn is going to give us uh, a little bit of a heads up here. They should move out now. There it is. There's that dropship right on time. I picked up four blips. Looks like another Mars Assault vehicle. Alright. That might be a Marauder too. Or it could just be a regular Marauder. What do we got here? Night Gear. Okay. Marauder 2. Wish it was a 2C. Mars Assault Vehicle. This guy's got to die. Um, Standing by. We are in kill range of all these guys. God, I got to decide now. Is it the Marauder 2? Right, we can shut the Marauder 2 down. That's the thing. And I think I want this guy gone more than anything. 1100 armor, 185 in the back. Doesn't really matter where we hit, this guy's toast. Hate these things. 
Come on, I just want to see the guy. Yeah. Here, I'm whining again. Sorry, I apologize. Oh, it's going to take a long time. My youngest used to do that all the time. Whenever we had to do anything. Oh, it's going to take a long time. <laughs> we just need to make one stop on the way home. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> It's going to take five minutes. How's that a long time? Oh, that whining was the best, though. Because it was so sincere. But once again, both my kids have ADHD. It's just like anything like that is just painful. The kick in the legs. My eldest had this uh, remote control vehicle, like RC vehicle, that we picked up at a, at a garage sale that didn't have a controller. So it had no batteries in it, right? It was just this remote control vehicle with nothing in it and it, anyways he's, he would just bend over he was like two years old he would bend over put his hands on the top of the thing and push the thing everywhere everywhere until he got a dump truck then he would do the same thing with that and push that thing everywhere running back and forth living room kitchen living room kitchen living room kitchen living room kitchen non-stop could you Hours. Talking hours. You know, and you can tell him to stop, but he's a kid. He doesn't know any better, right? He's just going to do what kids do. Right? So you're just like, oh, God, I got to put up with this. All right. Um, let's kill this guy first. We should be able to take him out quickly. Yep. Okay. So the Marauder 2, I think, is pretty much effectively out of the bat. I mean, not completely out. But out enough that we shouldn't have to worry about it right away. Let's fire on the Nike here. Don't have a great chance to hit, but we're taking it. Whoa! Don't shoot Megasaur in the legs! Not good. Not good. See, that's the thing, you know. If, I, if you're really thinking about... You know, un, well, unguided missiles I could see hitting your own team, but uh, PPCs and stuff, as soon as you move your targeting reticle over top of a friendly unit, it should just turn the weapon off. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be able to fire a regular weapon against your uh, your, your own team. It should just turn off before, because it, just, it just detects your friendly signature, right? It just turns itself off. Whereas a missile system, it's like you lock onto a target and you can get stray missiles on you, sure. I, I, I totally see that, right? But even then, you know, you'd think advanced electronics, as it's flying, if it detects the signature of a friendly mech, it should just shut its warhead off. I mean, I say should. Okay, this battle's over. This battle is over. Hate to say it, but that's the truth of it. Just because, just because, uh, we have our TSM's off, everything's off, okay. Wait, what, what the hell's going on here? Standing by. Oh, I'm targeting, oh god, I'm targeting the wrong unit, that's what's going on. He's not down, he's just taking a dirt nap. Uh, let's just reserve. Yes, Commander. Oh, see, now, there it is. That's okay. It's just bonus anyway. You don't need to move. Let's warlord this. There we go. Mmm, yeah. Six shots.
he's all like, It's a trap! You're goddamn right it's a trap. There's a knockdown. Did we get the leg? We didn't get the leg. The objective is secured, Commander. See you guys later. I'm working on getting some Runner 2 parts here. Glad to be of service. Just make sure the money's in the bank. Commander. Uh, Affirmative. This is not your strong point, but... Uh, not do too many. We get the torso? Yeah, we did. Yeah. No biggie. We want the blood asp anyway. So I know we got parts enough for that. Let's see if we can take the other leg. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Get a little better range on this guy. Fire in the leg. There we go. That's how it's done. Let's go home. Mission successful. So it looks like we are facing Ghost Bear Reservists on that one. Not much we could really do about that, but 50% increase in pay, which is nice. More than covers our damages, which was almost nothing. God, Megasaur, look at this. Adding to the kill count, I bet you wonder how many kills she's got. I should take a poll before the last episode just to see how many people think how many kills they, she's got. Her and Mockingbird. Because that would be interesting. Just to see what people think. Because it was... It, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't... I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect when I when I went in there. Okay, Bloodass Prime. Um, I'm going to... Wow, we should take four. I know we've got, like, ah, oh man. I know we've got um, five parts of one and one of another. Different types of blood asp. Um, doesn't look like we have much of anything else. Warhammer 2C. ATM9s, eh, ERPPCs, I don't know. ATM12. We don't have a 12. But we picked up a lot of clan gear. Railgun. DS. Downscaled railgun. 22 tons. What the hell was that on? Falls off to 15% of its starting value at long range, which is 980. Very between plus and minus 50. Minimum 380. Really? Recoil of 8. So 380 is doing 245 with a 50 variable. Interesting. Ultra 20, clan. It's got four of them. <laughs> oh man. Got lots of endo steel. Clan case, I don't know. XL engine. Got three of them. Heat dissipating armor. Clan. I'm gonna grab one of those. We may do an energy build in the second blood asp. Then we can switch between the two depending on the mission we take. Clan heatsink kits we got lots of, right? Yeah. We have how many of these do we have? Two. We're gonna be putting these in our max, so let's take another one of those. That's nice. But not in this particular case. Tracker sensors, we have one left. Upper energy, I think would still be nice. Let's take that. I think we're going to lose one blood ass part just here in a second. Although I should probably keep the three just in case. Railgun ammo. Four shots. Mm. Ultra 20 ammo, we've got nine. We don't need any more. Hypergoss ammo. We got two mechs that we need to put stuff like this into. So, because we got the Mauler coming up too, right? Um, 
Let's just grab it. I think this will do. All right, what do we get? We got the two Blood Ass Prime parts, the Marauder 2 part, one, two Ryokin parts, Thunderbolt part, Warhammer 2C. Oh, we almost got another Thunderbolt here. Two AP Goss rivals, really? ER Medium, ER PPC, couple of Clan Gosses, LRM 15, Core, Exchanger, nice. Um, Slick Sweet, okay, not too bad. Hyper Goss ammo, eh. So actually, not that bad of a roll. Not that bad of a roll. 76 million. Okay, let's see here. 28,000. Not That's really nothing for us. So we made about, what, 300 and something thousand? In Seabills. So, yeah, let's have a look. We didn't get the Blood Asp. What? I should have taken the third part, probably. Are you serious? I'm sure I had enough. Components. Assault mechs. Okay, Blood Ass Prime. Those are the two we just got. Right? Blood Ass S. There's five. And then there's one more. Blood Asp A. That's eight. Is it something different about this? A customized configured Blood Asp by the Society to work as a test bed for the experimental heavy silver gossip. That's probably a specialty mech. That's why. It wouldn't have mattered even if we'd taken three parts. We'd have had to taken all six, and even then it wouldn't have mattered. Oh well. Not much we can do about that now. Ah, I thought for sure that was, uh... Oh well. Yeah, at least we got parts to build the mauler now, though. Which is good. Which is always good. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So next time when we come back, hopefully the Mauler will be in so we can actually get it re um, outfitted so we can start using it in battle. And we do have a few more missions here that we can take. Um, and I think I want to do that. We've got three five skulls. I'll probably take all of them. This coupe though, um, local pirates, advanced equipment. I don't know if I'll take that one. Um, I want to try and get clan gear, but we might take it just in, for the uh, potential of getting assault mech parts. Um, Holovid Propaganda. This is the one we're... Uh, no, not this one. Uh, can't stop the signal. We'll do this one first next time. Because I had a fun... I had a really good fun time last time we did the uh, target acquisition. So I think we'll do this first next time. Um, just to see if we can pull it off. I'm pretty sure we can. Alright, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, so I'll be putting a poll up, hopefully, before the end of the series, just to see who you think is has got more kills, Megasaur or uh, Mockingbird. Um, but yeah, and until next time, we'll see you later.